is a demonstration of using the Switchport mapping tool to map a Cisco small business switch. This is the SF300 series. It's a new series that Cisco just came out with intended for small businesses. As you can see, I press map switch. I had the IP address, the community name, and the IP address and community name of another device, which happens to be an HP printer. The reason we have that is so that we can get ARP tables from the HP printer. Now, as you can see over here, it has mapped the switch and then it presented the report. As you can see, the report shows the switch IP address, the switch name, and various other parameters can see how long it's been up, in this case 16 days. And then if you move down here you can see other information about the interfaces and what, how many of the IP addresses we were able to obtain for the MAC addresses, uh, the ratio of that. See, here's the MAC addresses, the IP addresses. And then you can see the uh, spanning tree protocol information for the switch and then if there are any other known routers attached to it based on previous queries. And there is one virtual machine also attached to it. So you can see the timing characteristics down here. Um, first of all, the ARP table report shows how many items were obtained from the various ARP tables, the local computer, the switch itself, and that other device which happened to be a, an HP switch. You can see the time that it took to do each of these things. And then we'll go back to the switch port mapper itself and you can see the interfaces. This is an eight port switch. As you can see, here's the eight physical ports. These are eight other internal ports. Right here you can see the MAC addresses. The IP addresses are here. The host name is assigned to it the interface manufacturer, and again the spanning tree information. You can see the interface index there. Now if you wish to see other information you can go into settings and tools and use a com column order and visibility editor to add other items which include things like byte counts and bandwidth utilization, that sort of thing. So that's basically how to use the switch port mapping tool to map a new Cisco small business solutions. Switch.